Hello everyone, welcome to Geometry Nodes in 3.0. Today I will be showing you how to make this bouncing ball effect. So to start out, let's open up a new scene and add in a plane. Let's scale this up by 2, add in a new geometry node, go into point and select distribute points on faces. This will do as the name suggests, distribute a ton of points on a face. So let's make it so that this instances our spheres on here. So go to instance on points and let's make a icosphere. Let's just put it over here. It doesn't really matter what object this is as long as it's round. Let's drag in the icosphere into here, connect that into there. And as you can see, we already have our spheres showing up right here. Let's uh, scale down a bit. Maybe let's use this other method. This will make it so that the spheres don't intersect as easily. Yeah, that seems about right. Now let's get to animating this, making them actually bounce. Let's use a set position node. And next up, we will be setting up the math to make these bounce. So let's add in a random value. This will make it so that each sphere gets offset by a certain amount so that they're not all bouncing at the same time. Add in a math node and a fraction node. There we go. Let's hook these together. And now we want it so that the balls only go up and down on the, the Z axis. So let's add in a vector math multiply node, set the Z value to one right here, hook this up into there, hook that into the offset. As we could see, these are already going up. So what we want to do next is make it so that this is animated along with the frame value. Not many people know about this, but you could go into here and input hashtag frame and then divided by 24, there you go. Make sure it's that or that specific setup or else it won't work. Once we do that, it'll add a driver that updates with the frame. So as we could see, these spheres are going up and then looping back to their original position. But that's not what we want. We want these to bounce in an arc. So let's go into here, utilities, and select float curve. Now this is a bug right here, which will be fixed in the future. It automatically hooks up into the factor node, or the factor input. We, we want this on the value input, not the factor, or else it won't work. That will be fixed in the future, but for the time being, let's just do that. Let's add in another point right here and move it to around here to get some nice fall off. There we go. And as we can see, the balls are already bouncing. We can control how high these bounce by going into the multiply node, set this to 2. Yeah, 2 seems about right. And there we go, the balls are already bouncing. Now, what if we want the balls to scale down as they hit the ground? Kind of like, um, you know, them squashing and stretching when they do their thing. Well, to do that, let's add in a um, vector, combine XYZ node. Let's set this all to 1 and hook this into the scale node. This is so that we can isolate the Z value, so that we could scale that independently according with the time. So next, let's add an A color, color ramp node, set this to ease, hook the fraction into there, move this over here, add in another node, put it over at the end, do that, add in another node, move it over here, set it to full. So this will make it so that it goes from zero scale to one scale, one scale to zero scale. Let's hook that into the Z axis. As we can see, the spheres are squashing once they hit the ground. Now you want, might want to manipulate this a bit so it looks more natural, but this seems pretty good for now. And let's add in some random scale to the spheres. So let's go into here, vector math node, add in a multiply, move that over here, hook that back up into there, add in another random value node, random value, Let's set the C to something different or else it'll be the same as this and we don't want that. Hook that up into the multiply node. As we could see, these are all different sizes. Let's set the minimum to... Yeah, about 5 seems... 0.5 seems about right. And yeah, that is basically the entire effect. Let's move on into shading for a little bit just so that we could get that established again. Select your sphere, select new. Go into here, input, object info, put the random input into the diffuse. As we could see here, we're already getting random values for each one. Let's turn off um, color management. We don't really need that at the moment. 
Let's move this over here, add in a color ramp node, and switch this to red, switch the other one to blue. The scene is a bit bright, but yeah, there we go. The balls are bouncing happily, and yeah, that's basically the entire effect. Thank you for watching. Check out my Gumroad YouTube, Twitter, subscribe to my YouTube if you haven't already, and uh, I'll see you next time.